Hi guys, Master Sendin here. How are you all doing? Um, today we are playing a game called Dead by Daylight. If you've never played it before or never heard of it, it is a online game. It is uh, four being one, four being survivors, one being the killer. Um, your mission as a survivor is to survive and get out of the map by repairing generators. Um, and as a killer, your job is to catch all the survivors hook them and uh, and hopefully kill them right let's try Freddy Krueger right nightmare rancid abattoir cold wind farm what was that right Freddy Krueger let's get them big open area here. Aha! I already found one. Where are they? See them all them scurry marks? That kind of tells you that they're nearby. And I lost her. You can teleport with Kruger as well. Oh, I'm a bit trapped in there. Oh, I did miss. That was my own fault. How am I keep missing? Got her. Right, so now I can show you. Now I've got her. You pick her up. And then you look for the nearest hook.
and you hang him up. Right, we've got this one too. Get away. No, you have to come closer than that. I will get one of you.
Right, where is she? Right, can't find her. Got a feeling that she's gone towards the other door. But she might have tricked me. Where is she? So, just to uh, say that if you're someone out there that, I don't know, thinks that you may be a serial killer in the making or something like that, but you're a bit concerned about getting arrested or actually killing people, well then this is a perfect game for you. Give it a go and, uh, you know, try and aim some of that killer instinct in a more productive way, like being good at a game. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not very good at this. I am just not, but let's see how well we do today. Death is not an escape. There is micro transactions in this game and you can buy some pretty cool killers like you can buy uh, Michael Myers, you can buy Leatherface, you can buy Ghostface, um, as well as Freddy Krueger. So, you know, there's some cool people, but they don't name them what you would think because I would presume of copyrights and as you can see this is also the newest update to the game it is stranger things content where you will play as a demigorgon apparently let's have a quick look in the store and see how much uh, this new one will set you back so you get steve harrington and you get a demigorgon they're uh, 500 each if you want to know how much that is these auric cells it's uh 499 each basically not expensive but at the same time not particularly cheap now i got this game for free on the uh, playstation store quite a few months ago now if you are looking to pick it up i think it will set you back around about 25 pounds which I'll be totally honest, is uh, a bit steep considering of the amount of um, microtransactions in the game. If you want any of the good characters, like here if I show you, like there's the new Demogorgon. You've got Michael Myers called The Shape. As I said, they don't use their actual names, probably because of copyright. However, they do use their background story. Anyway, that being said, I think it's about time we start killing people because otherwise my blood thirst is going to get the better of me and I might have to go into the street and, um, well, actually, no, it's a bit morbid. I'm not going to go in the street and kill someone. I'm just going to kill them on there. So, my, my favourite killer is the Trapper. Really like him. He's the closest you get to Jason Voorhees in the game. Um... Again, I don't think you've got Jason Voorhees because of copyrights. But if I go on to here, we're given the machete. Now he looks a bit more like Jason. You can customise them to a certain extent. However, there we go. That looks a bit more like Jason. Um, however, you've got to pay for the outfits and the bits and pieces. There doesn't seem to be any way of winning any of this stuff, which I think is a bit unfair, considering... A lot of people out there would have had to have bought the game. Anyway, we just search for a match. Um, I'll be totally honest, I get a bit salty at this game because I'm not very good at it. And it's not an easy game. It's a fun game, but not an easy game. So, we're waiting for people to join. Let's go. Right, so we're waiting. Just while we're waiting, I'll just show you some things. So, you've got this screen called Loadout. And here, you can see your special power. So, my special power is Bear Traps. I lay Bear Traps. Then I can choose to have um, some add-ons. So this will give me an extra bear trap. 
And uh, if I go here, I could also potentially have one of these other ones. Can I have two extra? No, nope, can't have two extra. Bear traps? Never mind. Um, bear traps do not inflict damage to trap players. Points awarded for trapping survivors are increased by 100%. It restrains them longer, but it does not harm them. This one just makes it quite easy to, faster to set it. And we we'll have that one. And then you also can go to an offering. And what this do is different things. So, you know, you get extra blood points, which is kind of you leveling up currency. All survivors start the trial separated. Slightly lessens the dark mist. Slightly thickens the dark mist. And, you know, just loads of different stuff. I think we we'll go for the Shroud of Separation. And then you've also got your perk. I'm going to kill this one here. Sonic MM13. Kate Denson. Because I think she looks a bit slutty. And if you know the rules of horror movies. Oh I could kill him first. But I'm not going to say why. If you know the rules of horror movies. You know that slutty ones. And unfortunately other ones. Die first in all horror films. While we're waiting, guys, why don't um, you just quickly pause the video and uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, let me know what you, th you think of this game so far. And also, if you know anyone that may be a borderline serial killer, um, share the video with them. Try and save them from themselves. And rather than them going out killing the innocent, Come on here and kill these annoying fucking survivors. Because they are fucking annoying, believe me. I have one match where I just spent a good couple of minutes chasing one of these survivors constantly around a car. And you'll probably see it. It seems to be a tactic of all survivors. But anyway, it's going to start in 16 seconds. So we're just waiting for this one to stay ready unless they log out. I'm still going to kill Kate Denson first because she looks all slutty. I'm going to try anyway. That's my mission. Sweet, we are ready. Let's get in there. Oh, also, they don't know what killer they're facing. That's kept secret to them until they first see the killer. So, you have to um, you have to change your strategic plan on the spot for each map. Not knowing what killer it is. You know, some killers are different than others. This one lays ba bear traps, so you know that I may have them set in key locations like faulting windows and stuff like that but i'll show you all that as we're going through it so this is how you do it you hack them with your big machete sword thing you carry them you hook them and when you hook them you're sacrificing them to the entity of the forest i think it's called or of the woods or whatever and um, it will come along and eventually it will harvest their soul and they lose. There is other ways to kill them. But that's the main way. Right. During a chase, the killer must pay attention to the environment and the survivor's movement to guess their next move. It gives you clues of survivors if they're nearby. You can hear them breathing, especially if they're injured. You might hear them making injured noises. Right. Let's go. Right. There's no point trying to locate the survivors this early on. What the good point of it is, is maybe find key locations and kind of just swamp your traps down. But I'm not thinking of any key locations. I don't know this map too well, even though it's quite a common map, I think. So they're all separated. <laughs> Makes it easier to hunt them down. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's always a good idea to put them like here. Because they're fault out of there thinking, hey, I got away from the killer. Straight into one of my traps. Also, be careful. As a killer, you can also walk into your own traps. Right, so they are likely to possibly come through here. So I'm going to lay one there. Um, is there actually anyone in this map? They ain't done anything or even tried to hit a generator. There we go. So that tells me that they are start they have just repaired that generator. Oh, 
Quite a slow movement over there. Some survivors are really good. You can literally go the whole map without finding them. This seems to be a good location. Oh wait, I've run out of bear traps. Gotta find more bear traps. <clears throat> well, they're doing quite good. But... Oh, they're all split up. I'm not doing well. I am not doing well. We will kill them. I haven't seen a single survivor. You are a rubbish killer, Mars. Find a survivor. Hack them up. Hook them up. Do your business. Right, let's have a quick look. So, we're going to try and probably make a break for it there. Where are they? Not one single survivor found. How are they staying out of my vision completely? No injuries. So where are they? They've only got one more to get. I feel personally these maps are a little bit big and there's too much obstruction. But I did see someone around there. Where is everyone? Right, I am not letting them leave. And they're all kind of hiding everywhere. Right, I haven't killed anyone, so this is quite a poor run. I'm not letting them leave. They gotta get out. Mm, 
since I did it. Was without a doubt the worst ever. I didn't get a single one. Terrible. Terrible! What sort of killer am I, eh? They avoided my traps really well. Alright! One went well, one didn't. I only managed to get one kill, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to leave it there. I just wanted to show you this. Um, please, like, subscribe, and ding that little notification bell. Um, please like as well, because it's likes that turns one video into an entire series. So if you want to see more of this, make sure you leave a like. If I get 20 likes on this video, I will upload another one. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I will see you all soon. Take care of yourself, and goodbye. Bye!